Your last race of week eight on the flat, it's the Warwick Handicap, 10 furlongs for horses rated up to 95, Opera House, Pontypool Racing, Trojan Warrior, Michael Scala, Lady Laura, Padre Cogan, Saffron About, Ben Fotheringham, Escape Zinada, Alex Cherry, Tante Louise, Padre Cogan, Living Canyon for Danny, Pure Whim, Thomas Rogers, your favourite today, Same or Native, Danny, Bieber, Raw Martin, lead him, Heavy Rain, Obi-Wan, Success Transit, Ryan Costello, Jet Setter, Alex Cherry, Royal Alchemist, Jim Murray, Nova and Motto, Ryan Costello, and well, what do you think, Lucy, for Satyam, and off and running, nice level break there, uh, one that's been ridden forward to get into that early lead is Trojan Warrior, and Tande Louise just held back there, allows that one to go off into the early lead and set this pace. And a pretty good pace at that, being set by Trojan Warrior, just in ahead of Success Transit. Um, and a few horses are... Oh, it, it was a bit of an illusion there. It looked like they were racing on the other side of the rail, um, looking at Living Canyon, um, particularly in uh, Escape, Zinada and Jet Setter. Uh, but they've come right across now and tucked in and joined the bulk of the field but it looked for a moment like they were on the other side of the course and heading for the trees but anyway Trojan Warrior has the lead a couple of lengths to success transit that one for Ryan Costello in his green and white silks that he uses for many of his runners escape Zinada over towards the center of the track just in front of Jet Setter in similar silks Saffron about there in the pink uh, for B Fotheringham towards the rear of the field Opera House um, Pure Whim, Nova and Motto, and that one's going to be racing very wide, as is Living Canyon and Seymour Native. They're probably going to be caught out quite wide as well. Royal Alchemist one, which has burst out through the pack and has come forward, travelling very powerfully for Jim Murray in those black and red silks. He's had some good winners on day three, um, and throughout the uh, flat league, could Royal Alchemist be another one to add to his tally? Trojan Warrior's going to try and ensure that isn't the case. Kicks on. Tries to stretch these out. Royal Alchemist being ridden along, but then back on the bridle and being ridden very confidently. But again, now getting to work. The jockey wants that one to close. Trojan Warrior still has the lead of a couple of lengths. Royal Alchemist there, plugging away in second. Saffron about. Tande Louise and, well, what do you think? Lucy are both coming forward really powerfully now. Trojan Al uh, Warrior's got nothing left to give. Royal Alchemist picks them up, but that one's then picked off by, well, what do you think? Lucy wins. Really good race that one. Well, what do you think, Lucy and Tande Louise? Burst out of the pack to chase down Trojan Warrior and Royal Alchemist. Trojan Warrior gave way first and faded quite tamely in the final half a furlong. Royal Alchemist needed the line. The line didn't come for it. Well, what do you think, Lucy? Picked that one off and won it. The nice price of 20 to 1 there as well. Good winner there for Satyam. Another handicap win off a featherweight for that trainer. Good race placement. Royal Alchemist, unlucky not to win. Just touched off in second. And third was the other uh, Satyam runner there, Tande Louise. Uh, no, pa that one's for Padraig Hogan, sorry. Just running in the same colours. Saffron about for B. Fotheringham in fourth. And then Alex Cherry uh, managed to pick up minor honours with the fifth.